Do you need to scan documents or business cards so you can email them? Use Adobe Scan. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. Using Adobe Scan, you can easily scan business cards and import the information directly into your contacts. Once Adobe Scan is up and running, tap the icon to open it. The first thing you're going to see is the camera, and it's going to say looking for document. Everything inside the blue square will be captured by the camera. Tap the picture to take a look at it. As you can see, it's not quite right. Tap the trash can in the bottom right hand corner to delete the picture and retake it. Tap yes to confirm that you want to delete it. Tap the camera icon and retake the picture. You want the blue square to cover the entire document. Tap the picture to take a look at it. Now tap Save PDF. The PDF is now saved. To share this document, tap the Share icon. You will have three options for sharing. You can share link, email, or share a copy. If you want to send a document, like a legal document, you need to tap share a copy. This will bring up the Apple share sheet. I'm going to email this flyer to myself. Tap the email icon, enter an email address, a subject, and then tap send when you're ready. There's the notification containing the document I just sent to myself. Using Adobe Scan, you can scan business cards and import the information directly into your contact. Let's do that now. Open the app, tap the camera icon to take a new scan. Once again, make sure the blue square covers the entire business card and hold the camera steady. Then tap Save PDF. Next you'll see the following message on screen. Tap on the business card where you'll see a new option when it opens. You'll see that this scan contains a business card. To add it to your contacts, tap below. Tap the contacts icon. This will open up Apple's contact application. As you can see, all of the information from the business card has been placed into the correct fields. Tap Save. Allow Adobe Scan to access your contacts. The contact information has now been saved. It's important that you keep confidential information confidential. In order to do this, tap on All Scans and make sure to delete any scans that contain confidential information. Simply select a scan, tap the trash can, and tap delete. Select the scan, tap the trash can, and tap delete. Let's search for the contact that I just entered, Gerald Wheatley. Tap on the contact, and I can now message, call, FaceTime call, or email Gerald. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos suggested on screen. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.